Yep, I'm doing it. I'm reviewing another license scheme. Why? Because someone on Discord started talking about LEGO Harry Potter. I was like, hmm, I remember it. So I was like, hey, how about I just do a next set being a Harry Potter one, but this time an old one, because yes. So, this is a set, uh, let me check, number 4751, uh, Marauder's Map, this, which is uh, this one right here. And it co actually consists of three minifigures instead of two, because people also consider the statue as one. I don't know why, probably because of the printing, I don't know. So, the first characters I'm gonna review from the order of the most popular one to the least popular one. So, sta so starting off... Yes, this is Harry Potter himself. The have anyone remember the boy who lives, and because and because of that, he has this scar. Oh my goodness, he has this scar right here. The detail on, on the minifigure is interesting. As always with all the Lego, the faces look completely different than we have nowadays, which is a more of a singular Lego art style. Back then, Lego was, I guess, trying to give Harry Potter more of this magical uh, wonder feel, similar to uh, how it was, how it was uh, with original Harry Potter 1 and 2 movies, uh, with uh, Daphne being a, more of, of a magical wonder, like I already said. This Harry Potter also come, comes with this uh, violet cape, which, uh, being being doesn't cape, it's very uh, hard to keep keep it consistent, so it's very damaged. But this minifigure is one of the more expensive from from this uh, year, probably because it's a more uh, hard to find rather than the yellow tone version, which came in the mo in multiple uh, sets. I think even including a pack or some sorts. The one is uh, uh, to me the most inter in interesting since it's supposed to it's uh, black instead of dark reddish brown. As well as being very inaccurate, at least to what we have no we have nowadays, and also it has uh, uses this transparent brick, which I um, which I'm assuming is supposed to represent Lumos, even though it doesn't make much sense since the uh, magic in, in, in the movie was supposed to be like tra like, tra like white because it's uh, just uh, magic to emit light. So I don't know why they just couldn't just use transparent clear. Maybe because we, because they didn't have money for it. I don't know. Lego back then also had some colors that were quickly discontinued, including violet, leaving only like dark purple and sand purple as the only purple colors. The torso also isn't in, in, in that unique since it, had, it has been used since 2004 and then last time being used in 2007 with the only uh, Order of the Phoenix set. And there is like no back back detail, and which is and shadow thing. It's, it's kind of sucks since there's like actual detail, like for example this ring around the, around the uh, sweater, which would be good if they actually continue it. But and it's supposed to, it's, this character has like a cape, so I guess that makes sense since uh, since you usually there's kind of no reason to show actual detail under and uh, stop it like, like a cape, because I mean unless you're, you're gonna use it for something and be bothered by it. I don't know, I'm not exactly uh, bothered with it myself. Also, because it's a, it's a, it's a, a thousand minifigure, there's no back printing, so you only have this uh, drunk, uh, drunk uh, looking uh, Harry. Which I mean, to be to me, looks looks more accurate. He does does kind of look like 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 that, like that in the in the early movies, even in 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 the present Alaska band, which this uh, set is actually based off. Next one. Is this this uh, year's representation of Snape? It's very weird, if you can tell, because this very uh, obscure-looking uh, head, which instead of using regular like white or when I'm seeing uh, light bluish gray like the hands shown, it's using color called called opaque, which, as an example, is basically the same as this color. And don't believe me? It's because both of them. Because because both both them both of them both of them both of them can you believe it actually glow in the dark. Let me just show by putting hand over them and lighting the lamp the hell hell out. I have so much light them that I usually will go blind. But these aren't real people, so don't try this at home. And they're actually glowing very barely. Because I'm, because I'm not, because I'm not good at uh, doing anything. So 
I, I guess you have to download that just be blinded now. Uh, oh, much better, look. They're both actually glowing. Just uh, the one on the right a bit better, which is probably why it, why it looks very shitty. Because it was like especially glow in the dark, when this one being a glow in glow in the dark white. I'm not a fan of this head still, like I said. I like the idea of being glow in the dark, which I actually in the books uh, apparently it's what he's supposed to be like that. It's another example why the why uh, that time Harry Potter was more of a magical fantasy theme rather than just being another Hollywood movie like Star Wars, which is probably one decided to just, just use this kind of head. I, I mean, I guess it's not that bad. I personally would just use like somewhere like a tent or give it as as a, he's actually you know very pale rather than strap glowing in dark. Because that's something that, that fits more for ghosts rather than for I don't know regular human beings. I mean, he's not exactly, but I mean, he's like a, a prince of half blood or something. I don't, I don't remember. The design is really not that good. I, I mean, yeah, cool. He is he is back for his leg printing. I mean. Definitely, and definitely no back printing. But I'm just, but I just really don't like how 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 he just looks. Even like a torso, it just looks very cheap, very not that good looking. I don't know. I really prefer if he, look, if he just look more like a like this. It just it just looks a bit I don't know more no, normal, more fitting to the movie. But at the same time, it looks less of a, less uh, you know magical feeling and more very accurate to the movie, you know, I don't know, I just, I'm, just, I'm just not a, not a fan of this minifigure. It's probably why also it's not that cheap, I mean, it's a, I, I think a bit more expensive than, than, than the, uh, a bit more expensive than the yellow version as well, probably, probably because the original wasn't that good as well, but I don't know, I'm not much of a Harry Potter fan, I just thought we need to review them. So like, like I said, no back, no back printing, my nose, ah! No back printing, light br light bluish gray for hands, which is uh, I guess because because they couldn't make a uh, glow in the dark opaque le uh, le uh, hands legs hands. I don't know. It's just very weird, weird old minifigure. Last but not but last this time is uh, what's supposed to be some kind of statue with or a wand or some kind of a stuff. Why is it considered as a minifigure? Well, because it does use minifigure parts that Allah are actually printed as a back then instead of having actual skirt skirt mold, it was actually actually just using uh, it was actually just using a regular slow piece of printing. It doesn't look that bad, but it also just, just kind of feels wrong since the minifigures in the minifigures in this kind of skirt end up being slightly taller for some reason, and because it's and because it's not appropriate appropriately proportioned for minifigure, it just ends up ends up having having like you know, this kind of a slightly bending, like 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 just look, like like you just see. It's it's like a very slight, very slightly, slightly, just it's like gets slightly curved. It just it just it, and that just doesn't doesn't look that good. I mean I don't know if you guys see that. It's kind of difficult here. And other than that, I don't have to say it has some interesting detail. Like for example, this. Here, a uh, kind of uh, shading effect that Lego doesn't do anymore. Has it now fades from white to sand green, and even sand green fading out to the to the uh, main color or color being this dark bluish gray. It also has some unprinted Lego head, which is very good to get since usually you always get them printed. So I always find, find it pretty rare to find a minifigure that doesn't have any printing on the own stuff like head or torso. Uh, not really legs, legs are commonly uh, unprinted. Which I think it's a good thing to also as well, as well get. The more unprinted pieces, then the more you can probably do for, for a custom printing if you, if you really want. The statue, him, statue itself is a, par a part of this entire build. That's supposed to be some kind of a, a I'm assuming, a corridor. Like, a, like, it's, like it's again, it's supposed to be based on the. It's supposed to be based on the Margaret's up um, part of the in the movie when Harry was looking for Peter Pettigrew for the for the map, and he couldn't couldn't find him until he stumbles upon upon Snape, who was inspector who was, who was like walking around, like checking if any if anyone isn't like leaving their dorms and stuff like that. And as I said, being being a Harry, like a Harry Potter set from the early two thousands. It still has also this little bit of magical wonder, like there's this random spider 
right here in this orange which is also very hard to get since lego usually just uses like one color of some of the pieces like this always always came in black later on and i think sometimes in a, in a dark bluish gray i think once even glow in the dark white glowing glow like white like this like this minifigure right here and also i probably you can probably see it has, it has a bit of the white is because it's because it's broke it's it's a very very fragile and i probably should not do this anyway also, this is one interesting gimmick, which is one reasons why I would decide to actually buy this set. Because you see, there, there is this here. You have to use this wand. You plug it here. You rotate it. And then you push it. And then later on, I guess so that's like, that's like you use this wand piece as a gimmick. You remove this. And then you... You guess no, you're not gonna believe it. You push, revealing a generic Lego Harry Potter tile. Like wow, what a fun treasure, am I right? Very, very, just this random tile that even I, that I have no idea what even supposed to be. Some kind of magical brewing potion. With like a with like a pot being so magical that the smoke is literally coming out of the paper. I don't know. It it is that it's not even that, that good in my opinion. But I hey at least it has some nice detail. I don't know, like, like you can see I can see this a bit of a this old school retired uh, shading that goes from black to this metallic silver. I mean the set itself isn't even that bad. It kind of kind of just bothers me that they decide to include this spider thing which doesn't even fit anywhere i mean hey if you like if, if you like, like remove this spider and then have like some kind of bar right here you could you could probably like, and you also if you like, got another another uh, another murderous map set like, like this one again and then you combine both of these together you will actually probably get a not that bad looking looking uh, um, uh, higher bigger size corridor set with those two statues on the side it, it will actually actually look, probably look pretty good. I mean, I can already imagine myself uh, that it will look pretty good. But I see they should just try just not use this, not even include this spider, and I don't know, put some kind of uh, animal, you know, something that's supposed to be, you know, hyper to looking after. Like I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a presentation of Peter Pettigrew as a rat form. I mean, I, don't, I mean, my guess since in look at Harry Potter video game, that's what Peter Pettigrew, Peter Pettigrew was transforming into. And, and uh, it was also introduced in this year, in, in this wave, as a, as a, like in the same set Peter Pettigrew appears in. This is a rat appears in as well, which I'm guessing this was supposed to was to be. So it basically let's just use this, put it here, and then there you go. It fits perfectly for to to recreate the Harry Potter trying to like find it as like, he, he can't find it because he doesn't know that it's actually chasing after a, a, a human that can transform into an animal. Actually, probably be even more. It would actually, be pretty clever since we would use this random thing. That I don't even know even what it even is for. Uh, I don't know. Then there are instructions themselves, which is kind of funny to look as a, as an investigator shows Harry being dragged into the dungeon, dungeon and Snape or, or not knowing or letting it happen as if he doesn't care, and it can also so feels misleading since yeah they show Snape glowing dark. But it don't kind of show this as like you know supposed to be some kind of match, some kind of uh, lumos energy. It's just random transparent neon brick, and that's about it. And so this is a, also t because it's a 2004 sports set. All this, all the themes back then had this blue effect, which doesn't look good on ha on Harry uh, on the Harry Potter set. Like yeah, they did the logo all blue and stuff like that to kind of fit with that, that theme, which was more like a more of a, a transform transformations, the werewolves and stuff like that. But I kinda prefer if they just like, use maybe and uh, maybe just not even use this effect or I don't know. And, I mean probably they probably couldn't because it was again 2004 set. I don't know. Also here also there's also a picture of Harry which actually does actually looks pretty accurate to, accurate to the minifigure. Like yeah it doesn't look accurate to the character, but it looks accurate to whatever they were basing off. Like it feels almost, almost the same, including the hair as well. Except the also, I mean this is, this is a different pattern that's that's more accurate to the that that uh, more accurate the more hyper damage figures like 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 this one i don't know just just seem seem a bit more accurate but i am mostly just looking about the face since lego was back is different back then also as a, because it's a 2004 
for said also some there's some in, unique uh, pattern on in the actual instructions like here being something similar to what Lego Star Wars the awesome was back then except not as saturated like it's more more of a dark sand blue rather than being being you know bright blue and white here also uh, here's also uh, here's also showing showing the gimmick of the sand being you know that you can use that one Harry Potter's wand to move the statue as well as then later use it again to push out the map which I mean it's kind of dumb since you could you could you could because you, you could literally like hold on uh, is it in? No, it's not in. Uh, hold on, let me show it. Like you could literally just put it in, like right here. It's in, and you could just like this. I don't know. It feels like a it feels like a, it feels like a waste in my opinion. But uh, again, they try to like probably use uh, those uh, those real pieces to make it a set a bit more more you know. Entertaining, and then it shows again that you can do that. And again, you could push it with the with the, with the uh, um, Harris wand. Then there is those other sets, which some of them look not that bad. Some they look uh, not that interesting. Like they have this, like this uh, express is just literally just a reuse of the same build build from the uh, original version, except there's different side build, different minifigures, as well as features a Dementor, which is one of the one of the characters that were introduced in that movie. I do definitely want to get this set since it's actually pretty pretty uh, similar on the, in the size to this set. So you could probably com combine them together to give it a bit of a bit of an actual uh, theme, theme with an actual you know inside of the Harry, Harry uh, instead of Hogwarts. Then uh, this set, which not that bad. I'm just not that interest, interested. The same the same uh, Griffin appears in this set and and all the other ones as well. I definitely want to get some of those sets since I do I do I do like some some of them. And this set is definitely the, 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 this set is definitely the most interesting. And then on, on the back, also, also here it shows the alternate the alternate build. It doesn't look that it doesn't look that bad. Then a win because then there's also this advertisement for Lego Harry Potter. The all the other characters just also being the same version of the as the yellow one, except slightly different printing on the torso and high and and uh, Hermione uh, having a, uni a unique one as well. Also, all the characters being the same, uh, just in in new guys. With Harmony still, Harmony is still looking like a grandma. So, uh, what do I think of this set? I'd say it's a pretty good any other set. I like I like some of the gimmicks. I like the minifigures that it features in. Even though I don't like the Snape. The idea of it being more of like a gimmick set with this moving statue is also one of the clever clever ideas that I've, I haven't seen Lego do much before. And later as well, with most of them just being, you know, the push one hinge and then there you go. And stuff here having some kind of actual technique gimmick. So I'd say, as a rating, I give it a seven out of ten, probably. So uh, actually, I give it like a six. Is uh, no, no, yeah, seven out of ten, seven out of ten, since it's a uh, not that, not bad of a set, and definitely I'd say worth getting, even though uh, because it's all like a Harry Potter set, it is very a. Uh, Dated, so the point, so the prices are very high. I mean, not as high as 2005 sets. Even though I'm actually gonna get one of them to review. So, I'd say you should try and get it. I like uh, Harry Potter minifigure is honestly very charming. And Snape, I'd say you probably just better just just uh, get it without the Snape or get 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 it in the entire set and sell Snape. And probably also also get this also probably also get this rat as well to give it a more movie accurate feel. Rather than just, rather than just random uh, orange spider that just breaks over time. So that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I said. And that's all, all. And the only thing I'm gonna say now is, sayonara, goodbye, have a nice day, and stay healthy.